You might have heard countless things about Paris. You might have been there more than once. But Paris is a city brimming with many places to visit, from world-class museums to less known hidden gems, you will never exhaust the adventures it offers. Don't feel you need to visit all of them in one visit, especially you are here for just a few days. Several, such as the soaring Eiffel Tower, the gorgeous Seine River, the monumental Arc de Triomphe, and even the gleaming white Sasser Corset high on a hilltop, are part of the Paris skyline and easy to spot from many places in the city, whether or not you actually visit. But do take time to stroll through an iconic neighborhood such as the Latin Quarter or Montmartre. Relax in the beautiful Luxembourg Garden. Take sunset cruise along the Seine. If we had to select 10 places, here are the ones we would recommend you to visit in Paris. Go ahead and fall in love. Number 1. Eiffel Tower. The most visited tourist attraction in Paris, the Eiffel Tower also ranks high on the list of places to visit in France. It's hard to believe that the structure was dismissed as a monstrosity when it was first unveiled. The iconic tower was designed by Alexander Gustave Eiffel for the Paris Exhibition of 1889, which marked the centenary of the French Revolution. Soaring high above the Paris landscape, the Eiffel Tower symbolizes Paris and gives you spectacular city views from three levels. Although you can see the famous landmark from many points in the city, nothing beats the thrill of going up to the observation platforms and watching the Paris landscape get smaller and smaller below you. Number 2. Louvre Museum. Situated in the heart of the city, Louvre is the most visited and most popular art museum and gallery in the entire world. It is also amongst the most beautiful places to visit in Paris. Spread over sprawling 21,000 hectares, this museum is located in a royal fort, also called the Louvre. The relics of the same are still visible in the basement area. As one of the most crowded tourist places in Paris, this lavish and exotic museum is divided into several sections, which are Egyptian antiquities, Oriental antiquities, Islamic art, Greek and Roman art, paintings, objects of art, sculptures of medieval period, and graphic art to name a few. Number 3. Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris. One of the most enduring symbols of Paris. Notre Dame de Paris, also known as Notre Dame, a Roman Catholic cathedral, is located on the eastern half of the Isle de la Cite. It is widely considered one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture in France and Europe. Begun in 1163 and completed in 1345, this cathedral is a site with its portals surrounded by his many sculptures and gargoyles that adorn the roof. We advise you to walk around the cathedral, then go inside and climb the 387 steps to the top of the towers. The climb to the top of the towers can be exhausting, but you will get a panoramic view of the region and see the famous gargoyles up close. Number 4. Champs Elysees. As a symbol France's national power, the Arc de Triomphe was requested by Napoleon Bonaparte in order to commemorate the victory during the Battle of Austerlitz in 1806. Today it commemorates the First World War and hosts the flame of the unknown soldier. The Arc de Triomphe overlooks Paris in general and the Avenue des Champs-Élysées in particular, which is known to be the most beautiful street in the whole world. The Champs-Élysées is also a great place for shopping because it gathers the biggest French and international brands. Number 5. Musée d'Orsay. Located on the banks of the Seine River in Paris, Musée d'Orsay is a popular destination for collective art spaces, which mainly caters to French art. It was however constructed as a train station, but with time it was converted into a museum. A must-do for art lovers, the Musée d'Orsay is known for housing the world's premier collection of Impressionist paintings. Located in a former railway station, this grand museum showcases thousands of artworks and objects that cover a period between the mid-1800s and the early 1900s. Visitors can walk through several rooms to view amazing artworks by many famous artists such as Monet, Van Gogh, Cézanne, Degas, Pissarro, Renoir and Jean-Francois Millet. Number 6. Palace Garnier. The Palace Garnier or Opera Garnier is a theater which was built in 1875 and has a performance hall, public areas and rehearsal areas. It's one of the places that welcomes the most visitors in Paris. It's a true architectural masterpiece, and it is quite unsurprising that it was classified as a historical monument in 1923. The Palace Garnier is also part of the public institution of the Opera National de Paris organization, along with the Opera Bastille, you can go there to attend ballets or the dance school's demonstrations, concerts and recitals. Number 7. Place de la Concorde. 
If you are on a tour to Paris and you do not visit Place de la Concorde, your trip is incomplete. Place de la Concorde is one of the widely visited public squares in Paris. Place de la Concorde is surrounded by many famous places of Paris such as Champs-Élysées to the west and Pont de la Concorde to the south. Place de la Concorde is the largest square in France built in honor of King Louis XV's recovery. This is considered as one of popular points of interest in Paris. Initially there was a statue of the king. But later the statute was replaced by a statute of freedom known as Libert. Presently the square surrounding the statue of the king is a busy and bustling one decorated with fountains and other figures. Number 8. Seine River Cruises. To truly soak up the alluring ambience of Paris, tourists should try taking a boat cruise along the Seine River. Besides being one of the most enjoyable things to do, while visiting the city, Seine River cruises allow tourists to see the sights from a different perspective. The Seine River bridges, Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Louvre Museum look stunning from the viewpoint of a riverboat. While a daytime cruise allows tourists to appreciate the glory of the monuments brightened by sunshine, the most romantic experience is an evening cruise. After sunset, the city's landmarks are illuminated, which creates a special effect, and somehow the city seems more magical. Number 9. Luxembourg Gardens. Known in English as the Luxembourg Gardens, this public park is the second largest in Paris. Visitors here can picnic or stroll leisurely among beautiful lawns, formal gardens and fruit orchards that feature many artistic statues and fountains. For fun and sport, there are jogging paths, tennis courts and fitness equipment. Children can play in the huge playground, ride ponies, watch a puppet show and sail model boats in a pond. Located in the 6th district of Paris, the Jardin du Luxembourg is right next to the Latin Quarter. Due to the mix of English and French garden styles, it makes for an impressive sight. As such, a beautiful mix of greenery and art is presented to you when you go to the Jardin du Luxembourg. There are many sculptures scattered throughout it as well. It's also the location of the Senate, which is therefore in charge of the garden. Number 10. Sacker Coeur and Quartier Montmartre. Built after the Franco-German War in 1870, the Sacker Coeur Basilica was dedicated to the heart of the Christ. Its purpose was to expiate the sins committed by the French people during the war. Located at the top of the Montmartre Hill, the Sacre Coeur is the second most visited religious monument in Paris, right behind the Notre Dame Cathedral. Not only is the interior absolutely stunning, with its white stones and the painting of the The Christ's Holy Heart, but the view from the top of Montmartre is breathtaking. Once a separate village, Montmartre has been part of Paris since 1860, but its winding lanes, many trees and picturesque hillsides still make it seem like a place apart. You can stroll past the neighborhood's many cafes and cabarets and imagine the artists, musicians and writers who made it their home 100 plus years ago when rents were cheap. 